is about the County Board of Supervisors, which apparently this week has agreed to raise fines up to $1,000 if on the L.A. County beaches you are throwing a football or a Frisbee. Imagine that you, I, uh, you my take, jaw dropped. You take the kids out to the beach, and they say, Dad, you want to throw a football around? So you start throwing the football with your kid, and here come the police, the beach police. Yeah, in fact, they have enforcement officers. Actually, we printed out the 36-page ordinance. Which 36 pages. It starts out by just defining everybody's roles, so ocean lifeguard, fire chief authority, <laughs> and eventually gets into the code enforcement officers. Now, why would you fine anybody $1,000 for throwing a football on the beach? Isn't that what a beach is for? It's dangerous. Or a frisbee? Apparently, no, it's their, not. Their, their, their ruling is it's dangerous. No, it's not. Here it is. The updated rules now prohibit any person to cast, toss, throw, kick, or roll an object other than. So you're allowed to use a beach ball or a volleyball. But that's why the article says if you've so got a football or a frisbee I, out there, they're prohibited. I can't. How about a baseball? By the way, let's be clear, between Memorial Day and Labor Day, when the summer beaches I, have I the have, most activity. Uh, I play catch with my uh, kid all the time on the beach. No, no good. They're going to fine me $1,000? They could, if they catch you oh, throwing you know a ball. Oh, you know what? F and U on that. I'm going to play I'm gonna play ball. Oh, I can't wait till they enforce that on me. What oh, a bunch of asses. And you know when ordinances are new like this, they'll be out there looking oh, for people Oh, of course like they will, because they're looking, they're looking to steal money from people. Where, 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 where get, get, get Mike Antonovich on the phone. No, that never works anymore. He doesn't come on while he, sca- he still sends us his dopey Christmas cards. I think ever since Don Canabi had a tough time with it. Yeah, well, because the whole Mark. Uh, yeah, because we Thomas caught him. Yeah, because we caught him. I don't we think caught him enabling Mark Ridley Thomas yeah, spending a million dollars on his damn uh, office remodel. That's since why. Then, I don't think oh, we've had guys. a supervisor come on the show. Wait a second, a thousand dollars for throwing a football? Yes. Now, 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 I just took my kids on a bike ride. And Apparently, we, we, it says we, we, raise we, the fine. So it we, must have been illegal before, but the fine was lower. We just went on a bike ride uh, down the bike path. We went past Venice. This you is tell a me safety all issue. That, wait, what, that's what I'm going to talk about. All that that goes on in Venice, that's not uh, a safety issue? What do you mean it goes on? I mean the gang members? That, I mean, yeah, just everything on the Venice boardwalk. Just and everything that's there. That's not a safety issue. The firefighters play volleyball on that beach you're talking about all the time. Well, the, volleyball's okay. They, they, it's, it's they the exempted other, volleyball. They, because that's a beach sport, and it's, it's in a contained area where the net is. You but, can't have a, a catch with a football because with I guess your kid. A beach you get... ball is considered light, but a football, you know, a baseball, I... or a frisbee, they're saying no go. Discriminating between the balls. They're... <laughs> wow. It says here they warn any activities that could potentially put any person or property or near the beach should not be allowed during the peak summer season. Who are these people? The board this is what Zev Yaroslavsky does for a living? Are you ready for another one? And, and fat Gloria Molina and fat Zev and stupid Mark Ridley Thomas, this is what they do. Hole diggers, listen up. You cannot dig a hole deeper than 18 inches into the sand except for if you get permission for TV and film production. So kids digging holes that so are too deep. A guy deep. will come with a tape measure and measure your hole. <laughs> if you're making a sand castle? <laughs> Correct. If it's deeper than 18 inches, you're in trouble. Oh, my God. But, no, they've lost it. They've really lost it with this one. My kids have done that a hundred times because they buried themselves up to their uh, necks, like under uh, the uh, under the sand. That's like the most fun thing to do as a kid at the beach. Now, oh, you know, there should be there should be a huge revolt. You've both heard about rescues that have had to happen because those things collapse on people who are down in those holes. Oh, so who cares? This is a safety issue, <laughs> and I will come and measure. <laughs> oh, I'm tell. Oh, uh, people should start throwing sand at these beach. A guys. guy's gonna walk around with an eighteen inch pole and stick it in your hole yeah, and say, well, "Oh, hey, <laughs> I'm just saying." It's not the Miramonte School District. It's come not. on. All right. Well, yeah, we'll try. Right, we'll try for Mike Antonovich. Oh, we should. We should. We should have. Know, a, maybe he voted no on this, but um, we should have a public protest. It said the board. We ought to rush. take. We ought to take a thousand listeners this oh, summer out on the beach, footballs? start throwing footballs oh, and digging that, holes. That would be really funny. Just create a big public riot. The KFI beach ball party. That's right. <laughs> well, not public beach disobedience. Balls, but every other ball. All right. When we come back, we'll check in with Eric.